Federal government should learn from Amutekun's mistakes and climb down on Kanu's Eastern Security Network immediately. As the country inches closer to solving its vast security issues with the setting up of various community and regional security networks around the nation, some other citizens have been tasked with personal aim of fermenting trouble and throwing the efforts of our decent security hierarchy to the dust. Security is a well-known hydra that has constantly attacked the Nigerian state irrespective of status and locations. This prompted the emergence of the Western Security Network, also called Amotekun, which was set up to take charge of the security network in the western part of the country. Amoteko was formed to basically institute a neighborhood security network to safeguard the residents in communities across the Yoruba-speaking part of the country. The inauguration was welcomed as an idea whose time had come as the incident attacks by suspected cow headers were becoming very rampant in the bushes. Recently, that lofty idea has turned into a nightmare as the group has been fingered in some extrajudicial killings. As bad as it may sound, the Amotoko Corps has been put in a bad light due to the recent killings in communities. Just some few days back, three youths were feared dead during a bloody clash between youths and some Amuteku officers at Takba in Oyo State. From information gathered, the Amuteku officers attempted to stop the youths from organizing a carnival which was reportedly banned by the state government. This prompted the students and the officers to engage in a fight, and this led to the officers opening fire on the youth. Apart from this, other instances have been reported of the Amoteco Corps willing innocent individuals, and this has signaled a bad omen for the state and the region entirely. The Nans body in Oyo State had given the state government an automaton to reorientate the Amoteco Corps and also address the unwarranted brutality method on the residents by the officers of the network. Now, with this signal in the open, it is pertinent for the state government and the federal government to immediately climb down on the Eastern Security Network, also called ESN, which was recently formed by Namdekano. Amoteku, which is controlled by about six state governors, is already making mistakes, and it will be scarier and terrible if ESN, which is not controlled by any organ of government, to go on the loose. The Eastern Security Network has constantly taunted the government and this is really a bad omen as allowing this network to last till the election period with signal doom in the whole Eastern region. According to reports, Kano had warned the Eastern governors not to attempt to set up another security network in the region and that only his eastern security network should be made to function. This is a time bomb waiting to explode if not resolved immediately. The country is already divided along ethnic lines and the security of citizens is paramount. Hence, the need 
to climb down on all enemies of the state before the situation gets to a full-blown war. Thank you for listening to this news. Hmm. True talk. True talk. But, but to our honorable country, Nigeria, have they accepted the truth? Have they? <laughs> what is pinning me in this country is that we don't like hearing the truth. This is just a perfect truth. Our country, Nigeria, is the one causing this unnecessary that is happening to us. The Amoteku Corps, when they came into existence, before you know it, they gain recognition. The Western governors accepted them, recognized them, forwarded it to the federal government for recognition and acceptance. Before you know it, within 24 hours, the federal government recognized them and accepted them. But when it came to the, to, the, to the turn of the Eastern Security Network, they said no. Now, which message are you now passing to the public? Are you now trying to create some biased attitude, saying that you recognize the Westerners than the Easterners? Or you don't mind or care if the Easterners are secured or not? Or the security of the Easterners doesn't mean anything to you, but it is the security of the Westerners that matters to you? Now, see... Look at what is happening now in Oyo. In Oyo, where we have the Amoteco securities. This is a security corp the federal government recognized and accepted. Now, see what is happening. I permit me to make reference to one statement. Um, a prophet made concerning the Amoteco security. He said, look, a time will come when this so-called Amoteco security will become a bandit, God forbid. Now, the Amoteco are now giving people reason that to see that what they are saying is true. <laughs> My people, the federal government need to strike a balance to this and let everything be equal. Let me not exhaust everything and create room for you to come in as well. Okay? So please, if you're new on this channel, strike on the subscription button and get subscribed to get updated each time we upload any new videos. And please, don't hesitate to leave your comments. Thank you.